first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning actress you know from many films of note. Her latest is the big screen origin story, Cruella, as in DeVille. It comes to theaters and on Disney Plus Premier Access starting tomorrow. Please say hello to Emma Stone. Hey, Emma. Hello. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. I'm good. I'm very, I'm doing well. And by the way, I think the last time I saw you was backstage at the Oscars after you won. And then yes. we thought La La Land won Best Picture. Mm -hmm. It turned out that La La Land had not won Best Picture. Moonlight had won Best Picture. But I, rem yes. I wonder what you remember, because I, I not had a chance to talk to you about that crazy moment. And what <laughs> you, do you remember any of that? Um, I think we all went into a sort of like hallucinatory state. I mean, how did you feel after all of that? You I, just hosted the Oscars. You'd been on stage for hours and then there was just complete pandemonium. I felt, I will tell you, I felt confused mostly. I felt <laughs> suddenly fearful because as I was walking off stage, people were like, hey, was that a prank that you pulled? And I was like, well, no, no, that wasn't a prank that I pulled. <laughs> And then I remember you were gone really quickly. You wisely got the hell out of there. And I remember Warren Beatty walking around with a card yes. that had your name on it. Yes. Yeah. And then they kept telling me that that was the only card. And that, but I was like, but I have my card. And they were like, but Warren won't give it to anyone because he wants to show it to Barry. It was a whole, it was absolute chaos. There were two but, cards. You know, for the record, there yes. were two cards there with were, your name on them. Learned that, learned that later that night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that. And Warren- It was quite, wild. Quite wisely did hold on to that card because yes. it, had he given that card up, no one ever would have known what was written on that card. But I saw that card and it said, Emma Stone, La La Land. <laughs> and well, but you did get your Oscar. They didn't take that back, right? They didn't take it back. You know what? You sent me um, some underwear for, for him. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, for him. I want to just you said, make that clear. For him. <laughs> well, he is, you know, he does seem, you know. It, it, you said, you, you on the card, you said to bring some decency to your home, which I, he he's worn that underwear ever since. I'm glad. I'm glad because, you know what? <laughs> There's just too much nudity going on in people's homes nowadays. With the exactly. I know. You don't like that nudity in the home. I would think, though, that that was a weird twist on something you'd maybe been fantasizing about since you were a little girl. Like, when you were a kid, what movies did you guys watch in your house? What were like the big ones in your house? We watched a lot of comedy because my dad is a very big kind of like 70s and 80s comedy fan, but he showed me, he sort of interchanged, we watched The Jerk a lot. And oh. then he, we watched a lot of Steve Martin. Uh -huh. And so he showed me interchangeably, we would watch Planes, Trains and Automobiles and Shawshank Redemption. Like, <laughs> like How old were you when you were watching Shawshank about, Redemption? About like, like eight. <laughs> we were just, we would watch those movies all the time. I don't know why we watch Shawshank so often, but Planes, Trains and Automobiles, The Jerk, those movies were- It's good for an eight-year-old to learn what, what prison is like and- um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, yeah, I'm now going through is. that movie. There's a lot of bad stuff in that. There's a lot of bad stuff in that. And a lot of bad language in uh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, although I, that, right. I, so both of those movies are, are two of my favorite. Boy, that Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, that's one of those movies that you don't expect to get teared up at the end, but you do get oh, teared up that's at the one end. Of, that's one of the greatest movies of all time. That combination of funny and heartbreaking is like perfect in that movie. Yeah. Have you ever it's met incredible. Steve Martin? Have I assume you've you've met him and told him I've, about I've, that? I've 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 met him. No, I haven't told him that. So he's going to learn this tonight that I'm completely head over heels uh, insane about him. Oh yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. So I've, I try to play it cool whenever I've whenever I've met him. Like, what? what's your your name, Steve? Oh, it's nice. Well, it's nice uh, to see you. <laughs> then, you know. <laughs> yeah. Do you find that anyone likes that when you do that? I mean, I think that people like always think like, I'm going to play it cool and act like I don't, I don't care. And then the reaction is usually, oh, that one doesn't like me. Yeah, exactly. No, I don't. I, I do not very often play it cool. But I think I've, I've tried to keep it semi cool in front of Steve Martin because I've cried in front of multiple other people and it's got to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta stop. I have this instinct to burst into tears when it's someone that I've really admired since childhood. And so I, it, it's happened too many times. Give me one, one person you've cried in front I've, of, you were so excited. I, I've cried in front of Diane Keaton. I cried, <laughs> I didn't cry in front of Bill Murray, but I, 
I like walked away and cried. And then I was in an ele elevator for the first time with Lauren Michaels and I turned into the corner of the elevator and cried. Wow. <laughs> I don't, I don't do it as much anymore, but when I was, when I was a little bit younger, like in my early twenties, I would, it just would overwhelm me so much. I was like a chihuahua. I was like, <laughs> and then it would, you know. Would you practice fun. scenes from these movies that you loved when you were a kid, like at, at a young age, would you memorize the movies? Oh yeah. Oh, big time. I had a lot of the jerk memorized. I loved that. I loved the, um, you know, monologue from Saints, Trains, and Automobiles. Oh, with the rental, yes, the rental car scene. The yeah. rental car scene. Eight I years old. Oh, scene. that's got to be beautiful to hear out of it's... an eight-year-old's mouth. Oh, God, was it good. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> you, I loved it. Do you remember it still? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Give us just a little bit of it, or, or a lot of it, whatever you feel like. OK, OK. I'll do it, I'll do it because I want to, I do actually want to hear this bleeped. Okay, good. All right, yeah. You're gonna this, have to bleep it. This We're on will, ABC. Yeah, we will have to bleep it, yeah, for sure. Okay, but oh no, this is nerve wracking. Uh, let me see if I can actually do it um, live because I'll probably forget parts. Yeah, of it. think it through. All now, right, you remember, have to remember. Okay, he, so this is he's he's the there in the car airport scene. and he wants yeah. his rental car. Yes. And I think he didn't and have the contract. And he's been through a lot. Yeah. He's been through a lot. They took him to get his rental car. It wasn't there, and he goes through this entire journey to get back to the rental car place and this woman is like really jolly at the at the rental car place and he is so pissed okay so you all right you set you have to say a line though to, okay to well, it was so you e say e. you say may i help oh yes it was yes, it yes. was yes okay uh, so it's may i help you can you do the impression may i help you <laughs> that's perfect you can start by wiping that dumbass smile off your rosy cheeks and then you can give me a automobile a Datsun a Toyota a Mustang a Buick four wheels at a seat and then you have to say I really don't care for the way you're speaking uh, sir I really don't care for the way you're speaking to me and I really don't care for the way your company left me in the middle of nowhere with keys to a car that isn't there and I really didn't care to walk to walk down a highway and across a runway to get back here and have you smile in my face. I want a car right now. Wow. But eight, but be eight. Wow. <laughs> Better here. <girl. laughs> and then he, like, Edie says something like, well, then you're or something, right? And that she was says the, She says, do you have your, do you have your paper or whatever? And he goes, I threw it away. And then she goes, you're <laughs> <laughs> Wow, beautifully done. Yeah, thanks. You should, re you should do more of this acting <laughs> stuff. Emma Stone is yeah. with us. Cruella <laughs> is her movie. We'll be right back. More with Emma Stone when we return. Who are you? You look vaguely familiar. I look stunning. I don't know about familiar, darling. Your hair, is it real? Black and white ball? I like to make an impact. Right. What was your name? Cruella. That is Emma Stone and Emma Thompson in Cruella, which opens in theaters and on Disney Plus premiere access tomorrow. But you are fantastic in in this movie, and uh, Emma Thompson is great in the movie, too. I have to say, this is a role that, if I was an actor, I would not want, because it is such an, uh, an iconic, even though it's animated and you're doing it, in, uh, you're doing live action, it's an absolutely iconic villainess. And you can really, I mean, you really nailed it, but you can almost only screw it up, right? Yeah, I mean, Thanks for saying that. It is subjective. I'm sure many people do think I screwed it up. No, no. I looked at the re reviews today. No one thinks you screwed it up. It, uh, it, it is really good. I, I'm not just saying that. It is absolutely Thanks. great. And Cruella DeVille, which I never really thought about. It's Devil DeVille. It's D-E-V-I-L. I don't know why that would escape <laughs> me. But Cruella DeVille, we learned her, her backstory, which obviously I, I'm not going to reveal any of it. Um, did you enjoy working with all those dogs in the movie? Oh, God. 
That was the best part. Oh, that was the best part by far. Oh yeah. It was so much fun, except for they don't let you, you know, these dogs are professional actors and they're basically, they're basically like the, uh, they're the superstars of the set. Like no one can really speak to them the way you want to speak to a dog because they have to prepare. You can't get them all riled up. You what know? do you mean nobody can speak to them the way you want to speak to a dog? Well, you know, you want to, I mean, I don't know if you want to do this, but for me, I'm like, hey, what are you doing, man? All right, yeah. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, and so they don't, <laughs> they don't let you do that. I did do that to a dog on my block this morning, and I realized, like, oh, I sound ridiculous. This dog <laughs> must think I'm a fool, but... Um, you can't do that because they're like locked in or something? They have they have to get in the zone. And if you're doing that between takes, they'll get too like Oh. And then you and so you have to just like let them have their space, get in the moment. So they prepare much more than I ever have. You know, I'm <laughs> I'm told that's similar to what it's like working with Matt Damon is that he has to, he can't <laughs> You just have to keep him focused on, and you have to, you know, give him a little snack every once in a while to keep him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> little pieces of salami. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard that too. <laughs> hey, that's the title of his autobiography. You didn't know that? <laughs> um, the cackle, the laugh, the Cruella Deville. Is it? Is a cackle? Is the, that what you would call it? Cackles appropriate. Yeah. appropriate. Is that something <laughs> that you go in knowing how you're going to do it, or do you work with the director and try out a whole bunch of different cackles, or what? No, I did. I did all my cackling in the shower. In the shower, okay. <laughs> I did my. I did my cackling alone. You did your cackling alone, and then you introduced yes. it to everyone on the set. Do you now, as far as being this uh, again iconic Disney villain, do you get like? Can you go to Disneyland anytime you want now? <laughs> You know, <laughs> that is a good question. I am, I do want to try to go to Disneyland soon because I do love Disneyland. I don't know what my, you know, having been in a Disney movie kind of past to Disneyland looks like, but I would hope yeah. that there's like a, you know. I would hope so. And also children know. might hate you when they see you. That's very true. <laughs> and I do have that black and white hair in real life, so they're going to know it. <laughs> But you know what happens though, the parents will drag them over and they'll go, you know who this is? And even if they, yes. and then they'll say who it is and then maybe they might start crying or something. They'll burst into tears. How old were you the first time you went to Disneyland? I was almost three the first time I went to Disneyland because my parents wanted to get me in for free. And if you're two or under, you go, you go for free. Oh, so they were honest enough? Because my parents were like, my parents were carrying me in when I was 14. <laughs> He's a very big two, and he doesn't like to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. Like, what do you bring their birth certificate or something? And be like, I promise. Yeah, especially back then. No, there was no identification. It's not like, yeah, you had a learner's permit or something. It was just <laughs> tell me how old your kid is, and then everybody yeah. would lie. That's probably what the, the most lying in the world probably went on right in that line at Disneyland. <laughs> yes. And the White House. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I think you may have set, I really, honestly, I'm not joking at all, I think you may have set the record for most use of the yeah, F word on network television in one five minute period. I mean, there can't possibly oh. be any, you have to be number one. <laughs> Congratulations. Finally. That's yeah. been a goal for a long time. <laughs> yeah, well, you, we'll send you a little trophy. You can put it up next to the Oscar in his underpants. <laughs> Perfect. Well, it's very good to see you. The movie is terrific. It's called Cruella. It opens in theaters and on Disney Plus Premier Access tomorrow. Emma Stone, everybody. Thank you, Emma. Good to see you. Thank you so much, We'll be Jenny. back good with Rory Scoble. If you like that video, then put a ring on it. Click the subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.